Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Glockman4519. Uh, I am back with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is a request video uh, by DreamFX, um, <laughs> buddy of mine from uh, from a ways back. Um, he uh, actually used to do some uh, Pac-Man builds uh, for me, and uh, I did a pretty damn good job at it too. Uh, but I've been meaning to try this ROM out uh, for a while now anyways. Uh, this ROM, by the way, if you guys probably don't recognize it, is called Slime OS. Or I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too. Um, but um, it's one of the, you know, like uh, MIUI and all that. Only what I like about this one is it's actually got an app drawer. And what I discovered about it is the launcher, and I'm running the stock launcher, is basically Google Now Launcher is what it is. Uh, if you press and hold, you'll see the settings on it, uh, widgets, uh, basically all the same widgets that you would have with Google Now Launcher. Uh, you have your wallpaper chooser, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, pretty basic. And settings, again, Google settings. Um, but it just has a little flair to it. I think it's pretty cool, uh, the way it's set up. Um, I even tried Nova Launcher on it just to be, you know, me and throw Nova on it. And it worked. But I decided to go back uh, to the, uh, the stock launcher. It just seemed to be the best fit for this ROM. Um, there are a couple things about this um that I want to show you guys. Hopefully I can squeeze it in as quickly as I can. But first we're going to go into settings. Um, it, here's what the drop down looks like. It's got that uh, that clouded look to it. Uh, which I, I think is pretty cool. Um, and it is stock themed right now. There are a couple things about it that I can't seem to get to work. And that number one is the themes. And we'll get to that. Uh, we're going to go to about phone. Uh, this is Flyme OS. It's for the next six. Um... And believe me, things are just really, really off the wall in here. It's not what I'm used to. Uh, your storage settings are in, uh, you know, the about phone settings. Um, uh, system updates are there. Uh, status, all that's there. Uh, let's see. Um... Then you have your legal information, and of course, all the way at the bottom, uh, model, you know, Nexus 6 serial, the whole nine yard, Android version build, of course, it's Lollipop, uh, build number, Flyme 51527R Beta, um, again, it's Lollipop, and it's running pretty good. Um, I'm not going to hit all the settings, basically apps mean what is it, exactly what it is, that would be your apps. Uh, your location is going to be your GPS setting, stuff like that. Battery, same thing. Um, accounts. I had a devil of a time getting this set up. Um, basically, what I had to do was I went on to uh, the internet and I uh, made an account in the Flyme uh, forum. And that allowed me to use that account on this phone. So now I, I, I at least do, I am synced with Flyme with the cloud. So, uh, that's all working. The problem is, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump on up into personalizations. Um, this theme, this, uh, what I liked about this is it comes with themes, okay? And when you pick on themes, these are themes I downloaded. Or this, this is the stock theme, of course, the one on the left, and the one on the right is the one I downloaded. Um, you can go to... Uh, well, collections, of course, these are the ones that you get. Um, you can actually search online for themes, but the problem is, is when you go to try to install a theme, like if I was to pick this and hit apply, look at what happens. See? Failed to auth authenticate. Uh, please re-download re this theme. All right. So I delete it. I re-download it. I try it again. It'll say uh, license wasn't correct. Um, we need to re-download the license. So I'll back out of it and I'll go back into it and I'll hit apply and then it'll give me that same one no matter what theme I download it just will not allow me to uh, apply anything except for the default theme so that kind of sucks 
uh, because we don't have any type of theming for this layers or uh, CMTE we are counting on flying uh, and using their themes which are pretty cool you've got to check them out so if they could get that one thing fixed for me I would probably think about keeping this on my phone for a while this is a pretty cool theme or a pretty cool ROM it is really running smooth um, again you can pick uh, your these are your system wallpapers these are the ones that are on the phone that comes right on the phone uh, you can go to your gallery for wallpapers, online wallpapers. Um, it's just crazy the wallpapers you can pick for this. Um, but you really need to know Chinese in order to get around on this. It took me a while to figure out what's what, where is where, um, you know, and so on. And, you know, it's just crazy. Um, now, you ever, you're noticing this little button, this opaque button in the middle here. Uh, right in this area. This is the back button or well, I have it set up to do a lot of things if I touch it It goes back back if I flick it one side or the other it'll open up any recently opened apps See I'll go back 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 to settings if I flick up It goes home if I flick down it brings a drop down see it. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, let's go back into settings. So I got to remember how to do that now. Um, now that double taps home. <laughs> okay, there we are. We're in the settings. Now I'm going to click the back button. We're going to go back into settings. Uh, and I'm not clicking the back button. I'm using this one little button here, which makes this phone one hand use, man. It's really cool. And I'm, this is a Nexus 6. Um, okay, uh, security. These are your security settings. Uh, display and brightness not a lot of settings in the display and brightness and your um, sound but uh, again you know it's kind of new I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it uh, the DND that's basically your uh, silence mode or do not disturb me kind of kind of mode uh, these are the settings for that uh, then you have your notification status bar these are settings that you can do with all your status bar settings notifications manage apps toggle managements all that uh, here's where you would uh, flick around your tiles uh, things like that um, notification on lock screen wake up the device you know uh, notification bar on lock screen uh, display network speed tinted status bar I do have it tinted right now uh, then you can display or not display your battery percentage and full screen access uh, and that is pretty much it um, again, personalization, I really wish they could get this working because I really like this ROM, especially if I could theme it using this theme engine. That would kick ass. Um, I do like this little quick button, and that is under actually under um, accessibility. It is called Smart Touch. Uh, basically what it is, uh, you turn it on, you can set up uh, the different modes underneath here. Uh, for how you want to do it, like one tap, I have it set up for just to go back. Double tap, I have it set up for a launch task manager or our recents. Um, the, uh, to just hold it, uh, that allows me to move it anywhere on the screen I want. Uh, if I slide up, uh, that is, uh, that'll take me back home. If I slide down, that opens a notification drawer. Slide left or right, left or right, left or right to take me between the, uh, um, uh, between tasks. So it's, it's pretty cool. So we're going to go back, back. Um, I will go home real quick. Um, I, this was one of the wallpapers I got from them. Uh, I just want to show you some of the apps that come with it real quick. Um, whoops, I hit the slide down toggle button. Um, I wanted to actually go into themes uh, and something else here. What was it I was looking at? Uh, user center. Hmm toolbox I've never even checked this one out oh that's pretty cool compass level that's pretty cool uh, let's see here uh, user center oh okay that's just your uh, yeah okay themes now this is the themes guys um, these are the themes that you can choose from uh, just like the wallpapers, you have your little uh, settings up here. You can pick kind of what you want. Um, if you go here, 
you know, of course you want to, you're going to want to be able to know Chinese because uh, I can't read any of this. Um, but let's just say I like the Minecraft one, okay? It's free, download. Um, it's going to take a long time to download, so, or maybe not. Um, but it's downloaded, okay? Now, if I go to hit apply, failed to authenticate, re-downloading license, okay. Um, apply, failed to authenticate, re-downloading license, okay. So let's uh, let's go home. I want to go like that. Up, oh, that takes me home. Uh, I'm gonna go into settings. We'll go to personalization themes. Whoops, I didn't want that one. I want this one. I'm gonna hit apply. Please re-download this theme. See, guys, I just really wish that they would get that working. That would be really cool. Alright, well guys, um, this is Flyme OS. Um, I really can't think of anything else to show you. Uh, home screen settings. Oh, this is cool. I don't even know what this is, but it's pretty cool. Oh, I see what it is. It's uh, where you don't have an app drawer. It puts everything out on the home screen for you. Okay. Uh, so, how do I get out of that one? <laughs> All right. Well, anyways. Uh, you know, but it, it's a fun ROM. I downloaded it yesterday, and I still have it on my phone. I just, I, I couldn't, it, I, I couldn't take it off. I like it. It's fun to play with. Um, what's this one here? Oh, Flying Tools. Okay, this is where I was at. Um... No, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, I can't remember which one I hit. I want to go back to the other way. Um, and I'm going to do it by damn. If it takes me forever. It's got to be in here. Alright, well anyways, guys. I'll figure it out. Um... I don't even have my... Uh, oh, there it is. I'm back. <laughs> I hit the back button. All right. It's back. See, I have my app door now and all that. All right. Uh, guys, again, this is Flyme OS uh, for the Nexus 6. I highly recommend you guys give it a try. It's pretty cool. Um, you, you know, who knows? You guys will probably like it. It's it's definitely a change. It'd be nice if it'd be updated to Marshmallow, um, you know, with all the latest security uh, features on it, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I'd like to see the theme engine working on it, um, but other than that, I think it's a, a pretty cool ROM. It's definitely different from everything else that's out there. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will definitely see you guys on the next one.